Beautiful stuff out there so far this morning. And as we go through the day today, we'll have a nice sunshine with temperatures getting into the 70 degree range. The only thing is that comes along with this kind of weather. The nice dry spring weather is that we do have the pollen, which is way up there. It's been on the high side the last several days, even bordering on like very high, you know, getting to ridiculous levels. Tree pollen and grass pollen, the main concerns at this point. Uh, no weed pollen. That doesn't typically happen until later in the summer. Mold spores are at moderate range, so Waterbury Hospital keeps track of all the pollen. They put out the report each day and they're just reminding us that hey if you're sniffling and sneezing that's the issue it's the pollen this time of year and as we go through the day today those temperatures will start off a little on the cool side in the 40s in some spots but we'll get into the 70 degree range later on today so it's going to be a nice one out there not as much wind as yesterday yesterday we had some gusts up to around 25 to 30 miles per hour today more like 10 to 20, so a little bit more reasonable, a little bit more bearable out there. Not that yesterday was unbearable by any means. It was a beautiful day, and we'll have another beautiful day today with the mostly sunny skies, pleasant conditions, low humidity, temperatures getting into the 70s, some low to mid 70s out there in a few spots, and a little bit more cloud cover starts to roll in later on in the day today. For the most part, it's going to be a nice bright day, but towards like maybe 5 or 6 o'clock around dinner time for some people, it may be getting a little on the cloudy side. The sun came up this morning, or coming up this morning at 528. So we've got about 10 minutes until that happens. It'll be a beautiful sunrise as it already is. And then the sun will go down at 807 with some cloudy skies this evening and into tonight. Rain moves in around this time tomorrow morning. We're not talking about anything huge in terms of rainfall. We're just talking about a little bit of light to maybe briefly moderate shower activity. That'll happen during the morning commute tomorrow. So this is a look at 7 a.m. showing that green on the map and then it kind of flies through the area as we go on through the rest of the morning. By around 9 or 10 o'clock it'll start to taper off and then we'll just see a lot of cloud cover for the rest of the day on Thursday. So mostly cloudy skies for Thursday, possibly clearing out a little bit more later in the day, uh, but temperatures do stay kind of limited on Thursday, likely only in the 60s to near 70. And after that, oh, we're going to go way up. We're talking about temperatures into the 80s on Friday, Saturday and Sunday up near 90. Hot and humid weather starts to move in, so the humidity will really crank, especially by Saturday. Saturday looks like the hottest day of the next several days here and temperature 93 degrees. That would be breaking a record. So the record high is 92. It could be you know, breaking and possibly even shattering some records with that heat on the way for Saturday. Sunday also a very warm day, getting up near 90 with a good amount of humidity and possibly some storms later on in the day. So we'll keep an eye on that, but the general trend here is to really crank those numbers up after a somewhat cool day on Thursday. Today, by the way, very nice. And Thursday, we see those morning showers, mostly cloudy skies for the rest of the day. Humidity turns up on Friday and temperature turns up on Saturday, getting up to the low to mid 90s. We do cool it off slightly for the beginning of next week, but overall, I mean, we're not going back to the cool stuff anytime soon. We've got a whole lot of warm weather on the way. We'll have more updates in the forecast all throughout the morning.